Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I Am Pen Jam, welcome to Hive Time, which is a bee-themed base builder and resource management simulator. It's a game all about bees, which is brilliant because I like bees. Bees are very important to the whole world and yeah, they pollinate a lot of crops and they make sure that plants are growing and they're important for food sort of production, all that kind of stuff. And I just think it's very exciting that somebody has made a game all about building a beehive. See, I'm on board with this, so we're going to be getting ourselves resources we're going to be expanding the hive there's lots of little sections we can build lots of different sort of room types that we can put into our hive which is very lovely and the important job is that we need to get ourselves a new queen bee before the current one dies or it is indeed all game over this is currently on itch.io it's updated quite regularly which is a very good sign indeed uh, so if you are interested there will be links to the itch.io page in the video description below if you want to go and check it out and all that kind of stuff as i recall this it's free to play so you can just go and pick up a copy of this and have a little play if you want to so i think we'll just dive straight in let's just dive straight in and make ourselves a new hive and here we go, so welcome to Hive Time, and here is our little tutorial bee friend who's going to pop up and give us hints on how to play, and we're going to leave you on, little tutorial bee. We're going to leave the tutorials on because I've played this a tiny bit just to make sure the game recorded properly and the audio was all right and all that kind of stuff, but I think we might need you on in order to give us a little bit of guidance in what's going on. So here we go. A new hive consists of a throne room surrounded by 12 under construction empty cells. Cells of construction by worker bees and builder bees when you get them who visit construction sites automatically okay got it and here we go and there is the queen bee and the queen bee brilliantly in the throne room is sat upon a throne it's a little tiny bee throne <laughs> that's brilliant so first build an exit each exit allows up to three worker bees or forager bees when you get them to leave the hive at once to gather pollen and nectar left click on an empty cell then click the resources category then select exit so yeah we've got ourselves resources up here so if you have a look at what we've got we've got wax up there then we've got pollen then we've got nectar and then we've got honey which is very important and up there we've got ourselves jelly and i imagine we need a lot of jelly in order to make a new queen so we need to make ourselves an exit so uh, I know, let's go for the top, shall we? That'll do the job. So let's go to here, little sort of thing pops up and then we can go to resources and we can make ourselves an exit. So we can see it's gonna cost one, whatever that was, wax. So, okay, so there we go. Little thing appears across the top to you know show that it's being worked on, which is very good. Uh, what does that do? Hello. No, really. For fun, Queen Tamara once spread a rumor that she was three stink bugs in a trench coat. <laughs> Okay, Queen Tamara, you crazy, crazy bee. Next, build a wax assembler. Worker bees will use wax assemblers to replenish your wax stores at the cost of pollen and nectar. Okay, so they're going to make wax out of pollen and nectar. Gotcha. Some cell types like the wax assembler take up multiple cells. Left click an empty cell with an adjacent empty cells above it and below it, and then build a wax assembler from the resources submenu. Okay, well, here looks pretty good. Let's go and do that, shall we? So resources, wax assembler. Oh, I see. Right. It's taking up all three. Okie doke. So they're going to go and do that. Yeah, we have got little, little stores of things. So I assume that's some pollen just there. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's nectar, possibly. No, that's wax, possibly just there. But again, yeah, we've got these little stores of things. And look, they're going out. Those bees have gone out. Are they coming back in? Oh, they're coming back in to deliver some resources. Ah, there we go. So they've gone and picked up some more stuff. Okay, that's very good. So fill that storage. The hive makes use of five types of resources. Pollen and nectar are foraged from exit cells by worker and forager bees. Wax, honey and jelly are produced by workers at assemblers or refineries at the cost of existing resources. Fill your pollen and nectar stores. Okay, well, we're not too far off. We're not too far off filling them up right now. So I think we just need you guys to pop back out into the world and go and pick up some lovely stuff for us. But yeah, look, there's like a bit of corn just here. We can look around the world. So sort of a plant there, a good old tree stump type thing. So, you know, there's a bit of world around it as well. So this is the, that was the wax assembler. So that is now in place. Oh, it's all got very quiet all of a sudden. It's all got very quiet. Now I did have to do some jiggery pokery with the, um, with the audio because there was a constant drone of bees, as you might expect there to be in a beehive. But uh, yeah, it, it was quite loud and it was a little bit kind of distracting. It was a tad monotonous. So I switched that sort of droning noise off. So um, yeah, I'd have to do a little bit of sort of setup before I actually started recording. Okay, now I'll build a nursery. Nurseries increase your population limit. Unlock the role management menu and enable the bee sitter role. 
Oh my goodness, where is the roll management menu? I don't know where that is. Enable the bee sitter roll. Bee sitters speed at the rate at which the hive's population grows. Ah, left click on empty cell, then build a nursery from the roll submenu. Note the cost pop-up indicate the resources required. Okay, right, first things first, roll management menu. Where is the, ah, down here, right, there we go. Oh no, that's the tutorial. Where is the roll management menu? Is that it? No, that's pause. What's that? That's Tamara. Oh, that's how long the Queen has left. Just over 7,000 seconds of life. Oh dear. But where is the roll management menu? I don't know where that is. Is it in here? Ah, roll. Okay, okay, right. It's just here. Um, well, let's use that tile just there, shall we? Because it's in between this wax thing and that doorway. So, okay, roll. Um, nursery. Okay. Is that right? I didn't seem like the roll management menu, however. I didn't seem like the roll management, however. Uh, where is that? The roll management... And where is... Where is the role management menu? Do I get a hint as to where that might be? Um, <laughs> maybe this will unlock it first. Maybe that will help. I do not know. Bee sitters equal population growth. Initially, bees spawn at a set rate, but when a bee sitter works at a nursery, they'll spawn faster. Bee lifespans are short, so too few bee sitters will cause a hive's population to decline. Left click on a nursery and select population. Use the sliders in the population management screen to increase the chance for new bee sitters. Oh, is this oh, is this the population management screen? Hang on, population. Oh, this is it, is it? About workers. Okay, so what do you want to do? About bee sitters. So we want to get... Um, I don't know. I don't know how many of those we want. 30% bee sitters? As opposed to 70% workers? Oh, crikey, I was in the middle of doing something very important there. Ah, we do have a bee sitter. I think that is telling us that we have a bee sitter up there. And we might need that very quickly because we only seem to have four bees. And one of them is the queen who doesn't do anything. Okay, right, workshops. Workshops unlock the builder role as well as the ability to research new construction options and other perks. Oh, this is very exciting. I want to go and look at that room because it really looks like a little sort of bee crash. That's lovely. Workshops under the role specific cells also increase the population capacity for that role. When a role population is over capacity, bees of that role will live half their normal lifespan. Build a workshop. Okay, well, let's build a workshop here then. So go to there. It's not one of those. Is it a role specific thing? Yeah. Okay, right. Build a workshop just there. Oh, look. There's a bee in there doing little... Oh my goodness me, you can zoom right in. That is a wonderful thing. And then look, another bee has appeared. We've got another bee. Okay, that's very good. Um, okay, right. Zoom back in. Oh, not quite to there. There we go. Like that. That'll do. That's quite a nice view level. So there's a workshop. Uh, right, another bee is appearing. Do you know what? I'm tempted... I'm tempted to up that a bit more. And we've got two out of two bee sitters. Okay, I'm tempted when we come out of tutorial land to get another one of those because we need more bee population. Work, work, work. Research needs builders to progress. Each cell has room for up to three working bees. Three builders can research in a single workshop at once, but wax assemblers have room for nine workers. Left click on a workshop, select research, and choose any new research items. And remember to also spawn some builders. Okay, so how do we do that? How do we spawn some... Ah, we've got to go up here, haven't we? We've got to go up to the population thing and get us a builder. Okay, so we want to get... I don't know. I, I, we can't lock any into place, which is unfortunate. How about that? How about that? We'll see if we can spawn ourselves a builder. And then in here, let's go to research. Oh, my goodness. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on. Can we pause time for a second? Can we pause time? Oh, no, we can't do anything while time is, while time is paused. Okay, so what do we want to get? Cell upgrades, B upgrades. Oh, B upgrades. Allows workers to forage and construct. Oh, that's already researched. Okay, so cells. What do you want? Nectar storage is researched. Um, oh, hang on. All of these things are already researched. Oh, it's these things that we could get. Throne room upgrade. Uh, okay, or a workshop upgrade. B upgrades we've already got. So how about we get this then? A map room. That sounds fun. Oh, wax storage. Can we get that without having the map room in? That could be quite handy. Can we have that, please? Okay, marvellous. There we go. So we've got two of those guys. So two builder bees and two, two sort of, uh, whatever they are, sort of uh, babysitter, oh, bee sitter bees. And then six worker bees. Um, I assume the little sort of puff of smoke type stuff is when, oh, look, <laughs> they're doing complicated stuff. The little puff of smoke is when a bee dies, I think. I think they just sort of stop existing. It's going to go, poom. There you go. Look, that one just stopped and, and died. But then we're sort of, uh, we're growing some more bees. Okay, that's very good. What's that about? Hive life. A typical day in a workshop. 
Okay. It makes a buzzing sound, you see. Elizabeth's favourite tool is the buzz saw. Buzz buzz. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a beak with Elizabeth. That's brilliant. Um, I'm very tempted to get another one of those things. Oh, botheration. So I was just going to start building stuff. Okay, your hive has a productive population and you're able to have new bees specialised in particular roles. Continue to grow your hive with storage, production and role-focused facilities. Research jelly production and accumulate 600 jelly to create a new queen at the throne room before the current queen dies. <laughs> That's the fact you can have no tutorials or woo! <laughs> okay, so woo. Right you are. So what's that? Is that the Queen's age, perhaps? Is that a thing something to do with the Queen's age? Right, look, we're maxing out storage. Can we build can we build sort of extra storage things? Can we build that? Storage. Ah, okay, right. Let's build some storage stuff, shall we? So use that as wax. So build a wax storage area. Um can we build another exit? How do we build extra bits? Ah, okay, right, we can build extra cells. Okay, right, hang on a second. So we'll have some storage up here. So a cell there and a cell there, please. There we go. So once you've got those constructed, we'll put some more storage in there. And then I wouldn't mind another exit as well. Uh, was it under resources and exit? Yeah. So get another exit as well. So we'll get some more bees going out there. Right. That can store that. That can store uh, nectar. And that one can store pollen. So we've actually got a bit more storage because we've maxed out on those quite a bit. So there you go. So we can store 10 more, I think. Okay, that's quite good. So we'll have that. So we'll have some more storage. What's that doing? It's a transient feeling. Some days Francis feels way hip. Other days they feel entirely out of touch. Oh, Francis. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm sure your short life will be, will be wonderful. Look, there's a flower there. Go and fly over to it. So there we go. So we've got ourselves lots of different storage bits. This is all very good. I think we need another one of those. I think we need another one of those. So that could be quite handy. So how about we get... Um, how about we build a cell just there? And we build a cell just there. So we'll have another workshop and another little whatever that is. Little sort of bee nursery type thing with jig. So we'll have that. We need more bees to be going out there and doing more stuff. Okay, right. So you're now working on this. Right, and then we'll turn that into... Uh, into a nursery, which we... Oh, we can't do it. Oh, you can't do it at all if there are no resources available. You can't sort of queue it up and they do it when the resources are ready. Oh, okay. Right. We need more people to go out and about then, please. We need more people to go out and bring back lovely resources for us. So here you come. So bring that in. So we've maxed out on the wax. Maybe we need another wax storage thing somewhere. But yeah, you're going to put stuff in there. Okay, that's good. Can we now get one of those in? A nursery, marvellous. So get the nursery in, and then let's turn that into wax storage as well, shall we, if we can. Yeah, so make that wax storage, because we're getting quite a lot of that wax. <laughs> it's building up quite readily. So, okay, right, so stuff is building. Want that to be a workshop eventually, but we can't do one right now. Um, okay, so population, one out of four bee sitters. Um, how about we up that a bit? Now, what are they? Foragers... And defenders. Ooh, right, okay. So we might have to defend ourselves, probably against wasps, because they're evil and horrible and idiots. So, um, yeah, maybe we'll have to do that. So there we go. So bee sitters. Bee sitters work at nurseries to train the next generation of bees faster than they would otherwise spawn. Need more bees? Get more bee sitters. Yes, we need more bees. So I think we put that up to, say, 60, and then push them up to 20. Uh, yeah, you need the ability to lock these sort of things. And then that's just workers. So they are general purpose bees and can build forage for resources outside the hive and produce resources at production facilities like this one here. Okay, ah, now we did have an extra bee there that we didn't we didn't want because if we have too many builders, they they die quickly, don't they? Um, okay, right. So that balance is not quite right. So let's bring that down a little bit and bring that down as well. Bring that down to there, that down to there. Maybe that will sort of things out. Yeah, look, we've got loads of... Bu five builders? No, 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 no. Bring that down, bring that down. Wasp attack. I knew it was going to be wasps. They're just evil and spiteful and nasty. One of the nearby wasp clans is raiding for nectar, killing any bees who stand in their way. Without any defenders to protect the hive, the wasps are making a real mess. Oh, no. Well, I don't have any of those, though. How do I make a defender? A roll... Can't, I can't make any defenders. 
I don't think it's a thing I can build, is it? I can build an exit. Um, okay, how am I supposed to deal with these? Some bees have bitten the dust. Oh no, are, bees, are they being killed by the things? They've been killed by the, the wasps. That's just not on, is it? Ah, wasps, they're such idiots. Who, why, why would there be wasps? Uh, okay, right, this needs to become a workshop. Cause I think we keep going over our limit there. So let's turn that into a workshop. Because we've got the resources for that, which is marvellous. And now, yeah, we just need to keep creating some more bees. We just need to make a lot more bees. Don't create six out of four. That's just a silly number. No, 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 no. Not six out of four. Less. Less. Less of those, please. We don't want that many because you're going to die quicker. Yeah, they can't. They can't all. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Is that? That's not. That's not a good thing. Right. We've got a lot of wax. Got a little tiny bit of pollen. A little bit of nectar. Have we finished this research yet? Um, wax storage. Oh yeah. Oh right. Yes, we must have done it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't notice that. Right. Let's get the map room. Although it does require 10 and 15. Oh my goodness me. So 10 nectar and 15 of whatever that is. What is it again? That's nectar. What's that? Pollen. Oh, okay. So yeah, quite a lot of resources there. We might need to just leave that for a while. We might need to leave it running for a bit, I think, just to stock up on these things. Yeah, we need some more. We need some more resources, please. In they come. In come my lovely bees. There we go. Lot. I mean, we've maxed out on the wax there. We've maxed wax. And then we just need a bit more of the pollen. If we could drop off some pollen, folks. That'd be great. There we go. Lovely. Lots of pollen. Um, okay, right. Research. Let's grab this. Map room. And as a map room to be constructed, they allow for foraging management and for foragers to be spawned. Yeah, okay. That sounds like a fun thing to have. So we need 80 of that. That's fine. We can get that. Cell upgrades, throne room, and workshop upgrade. Workshop upgrade might be quite good. Uh, upgraded workshops. Increased builder population capacity allows the cell list to be viewed, and it unlocks additional research options. Now, yeah, we are coming to the end of the research options already. Um, and then what have we got there? The throne room upgrade as well. We probably do need to get that in at some point. Um, I think once we've done this first thing, once we've done a map room and we've built a map room because they're probably useful, let's uh, let's get the workshops upgraded. What is this thing? Little treasures. Debbie. There is a bee called Debbie. This game is brilliant. Debbie likes to make crayons from leftover wax to donate to nurseries. Every now and again, they receive a drawing as thanks. Debbie treasures them all. Debbie, you are truly the hero of the piece so far. That's lovely. Oh, and you get little drawings back and you keep them and you treasure them. That That's a very heartwarming tale. Well done, Debbie. Good job. Okay, resources are looking good. We've maxed out a few of those. How about, can we build a cell just there and a cell just there for storage reasons? Just to get some more storage in. So get some, um, get some nectar there and some pollen just there. Because otherwise we, we, the bees are going out and not actually collecting anything. So just there, you can store nectar. And you can store pollen. Okay, good. This is all looking good. So we've got nice amounts of storage, all the same. I haven't got anything for honey just yet, but we haven't got a honey refinery because presumably that's something we have not yet researched and we just abstracted the uh, bees away. But they put on little hard... They do put on little hard hats. They put on little bee hard hats. That is brilliant. I do like that. That's very good. <laughs> Little tiny bee hard hats. Okay, so I, I do, Joe, you know I do like as well. I like the fact that you can see the progress by the things that are going around the side. I like that. So this sort of, uh, this bar fills up around the edge of the hexagon and you can see how long it's going to take for them to complete their current task. So there we go. The research is, oh, it's nearly done. Come on, one of you bees. Come back here and just finish that off. It's a tiny bit done. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. More, more of those, please. More of those. We definitely need more of those. I hadn't noticed that for some reason we'd lost all of them. Oh my goodness, that could have been bad. That would have been the population gone and dead and dusted. Oh dearie me. Some of them are coming back in. But yeah, you need to spawn some more bees, please. Spawn many more bees. Okay, so uh, we'll do the workshop upgrade next. That does not take long. It doesn't take a long thing to do. And uh, resources. How do we build a map room? Is that a roll? Yeah, a map room. Let's put the map room next to the throne room because it's probably very important. So we'll pop that into there. 
Uh, oh, now we're out of builders. We're out of researchy bees. I think we used to get our population back up, to be honest. We need a higher population. So, yeah, get this. Get that thing filled in. There we go. Right. More sort of nursery bees. Three out of four. Four out of four. Come on, let's get another one in. Yay! Right, four out of four. Marvellous. So now we can just make regular bees again. That would be nice. So now you're topping up on those ones. Okay, this is good. Right, we're back on track with that then. And... Uh, ah, what do we get in here then? What is this? But later than never, Glenda watched Bee Trek, the unpollinated country for the first time last night, and can't stop buzzing about it. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, what does this room do? Map room info. This is a map room, a place where foragers can click, uh, sorry, check their foraging routes. Map rooms allow foragers to be trained who can harvest resources outside the hive at an increased rate. You can also explore and manage the foraging zones that are visited by foragers and workers here. Okay, so foraging. What do we want to do here then? What's this? This is the hive. I currently selected that zone. Um, okay, send an exploration party to reveal. How do we go about doing that? What's that? Explore or select? Oh, oh, it needs eight. Oh, crikey. We need eight of those things to go exploring. Oh, right. Oh, we need loads then. That's not going to happen. That's not going to work. Okay, fine. Um, that area looks great. That area looks brilliant. Yeah, that whole area looks wonderful. Nowhere's dangerous. We could do with finding out if it's pollinated and stuff. So yeah, so they're selected for foraging there. Okay, that's fine. But at least we know what they're doing with that now. And we can get foragers in. So I assume um, oh, we've got eight out of four of those things. We don't need that many. <laughs> Bring it down. We can have a tiny bit of that. So we can have some foragers. And we need to bring them down. But this is good again. Right, okay. So we've got our population back up. What little thing here. This means something. Emma keeps a journal of all the dreams they've ever had. They're not sure what it is. But they'll know they'll find a pattern eventually. Okie dokie. <laughs> Right, you are. Sort of slightly curious little sort of incidental details, but I quite like it. Um, we're maxed out on storage again. Okay, build a cell. Build a cell. Build a cell. And we'll build that as more storage. My goodness me. Can we build over these things? I assume we can build over the logs. I guess we're allowed. Right, and storage. You can be nectar. You can be uh, pollen. And this one eventually when it's done. That can be for wax. Okay, so we've got more storage going on. I've just spent a bit of the wax to get all these things constructed, but that's fine, so they can work on that. Uh, Research-wise, are you doing... Ah, upgrade workshop. Yes, upgrade one of the workshops. That sounds very good. So this will be a fancy workshop with the new research options in. Okay, that's good. We've got slightly too many of those things still. Bring that down to 30%, 29%, that'll do. Okay, good. Lots of population. Oh, look. Look, it's like a proper bee workshop with, with saws. Do, do, do bees need saws? It's got like a one of those jigsaw drill thingamajigs as well. <laughs> That's nice. I like the idea that bees are doing that. I do like the little details. It's all very lovely. Right, let's have a look. So what can you do here? What's a cell list? Ah, right. Okay, that just tells us what we've got. Okie dokie. And then research-wise, oh, we have many, many things to research. Honey refinery. Ah, that could be very handy indeed. Honey storage allows honey to be stored. Jelly storage. A barracks. Ah, right. Barracks might be very important. Because I think we need to get some defenders in. Because it said that there were wasps. So maybe we need to do that. B upgrades, we still can't do cell upgrades. Nectar storage upgrade needs 70. Oh my goodness me. Right, okay, these things are all these things are all huge, huge projects. Um wax storage, throne room upgrade. Is it worth getting the throne room upgrade in? Or should we get I think we get the barracks in. Let's get ourselves some defense. Because yeah, we're gonna be no good if all the wasps come in and just kill us, then yeah, we can have all these fancy things, but yes, we need some defense. So I think a barracks might be a good idea. Okay, they've been working very hard. They are nearly done, and they now are done. So the barracks is now a thing that we can build. Where do we want to build a barracks? I mean, I'd think you'd want it near the queen, wouldn't you? If the wasps are going to come in near these, I imagine they come in through the exits. So we want to get as close as we can to there. So let's do that. So roll a barracks. Yes, let's get ourselves a barracks constructed. And then also in here, can we research anything else whilst we're here? A honey refinery. I don't know what we do with honey yet. 
Don't we know what we do with honey? Do we turn that into the jelly? I do not know. Let's get the let's get the throne room upgrade done because we might as well get that done as well whilst we're here. And the barracks is in. Okay, now we can have all of the different types. So now we're gonna need to fiddle about with this a little bit just to see what's going on. Ah, right. Can we lock that? Oh, we can lock that now. Ah, right, it must be when we upgrade it, we can then lock things. Okay, right, that's quite handy. That's quite useful. So there we go, so we've got that done. So we can lock that off. So I'd say we bring that to say, I don't know, 10 and 10. See if that works. So are we gonna generate a defender one, a defender B? That would be good if we did. Then we'll at least have some defense against those. Ah, oh, there, look, he's got a little police hat on. He's wearing a police hat. That's brilliant. So yes, a police hat, a safari hat, because they go out exploring, a builder's hat, because also they're doing sort of building sort of machinery work. And then that, I don't even know what that is. Like a sort of a night cap, like a sort of sleeping cap thing. I don't know why that's like that. But okay, there you go. It is. That's the way it is. Um, okay, can we upgrade any of these? Can we upgrade any of these rooms yet? No. So we haven't got the upgraded nurseries done, but we have got the throne room done. We have got that done. Um, oh, are they fighting? Is there something going on there? I don't know what that was. Are they fighting wasps or something? I don't really know. Uh, right, can we upgrade the throne room? Yes, we can. Okay, do it. Upgrade the throne room. I imagine it's a big old project. Uh, what have you got to say? Masterpiece. Kieran likes a sculpt with leftover wax. The other workers say they're good enough to sell, but Kieran thinks creating is its own reward and melts them down at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> just doing it for the art man you're doing it for the art that's absolutely fine okay let's get this throne room upgrade i want to see what this looks like also i'm just going to adjust the bee sitter population up a little bit i don't like it being quite so low because if they come down we struggle and we don't have a lot of stuff so yeah so we'll adjust that up for now just to get more bees in i think that's a pretty good that's a pretty good mix of things so we've got ourselves five what have we got five workers two bee sitters Two builders, two explorey ones, and one defendy one. That I think that's quite a good mix. I mean, that seems like a good balance of things. We could do with more workers. The worker ones seem to be dying off a little bit. There's now only three workers. All the others have got fancy jobs. Drink responsibly. Oh dear me. Oh look at this bee. <laughs> oh dear, he, he's, been, he's been on the honey. It has come to light that the hive's foragers have been attending butterfly nectar raves. <laughs> Brilliant. And have come back to the hive, particularly smeared. Forager harvesting will be reduced until they can get it out of their system. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Um, yeah, we've only got, we've got two foragers. That's fine. And yeah, they're currently off their faces, which is nice. Well done. Good job. Um, let's expand this way a bit more. So a cell. We'll have a cell. We'll have a cell. We need some more storage. At some point, we're going to need 70 of each resource to then do those upgrades. So let's have a look. So the throne room has been upgraded. It's got fancy things. Okay. Um, bee activity. Ooh. Oh, okay. It tells you what the bees are doing. Okie doke. Right. What can we do next? What research can we get next? So in terms of these, jelly refineries, jelly storage, honey storage, honey refinery. Okay. Ah, bee upgrades. Oh my goodness me. That requires a heck of a lot of stuff. Oh my word. Right, we can't do those yet. See, what we need to do, we need to do these. We need to do these. So yeah, so we can um, increase the amount of stuff that each storage things can can hold, I assume. But we need more of it. We need to just get more storage in. Nursery, ah, nursery upgrade. Yeah, look, we need 25 honey for that. So we don't have enough for that. Barracks upgrade, wax assembler upgrade. We can upgrade the map room. Empty cell cluster allows groups of empty cells to be constructed at once. Empty cells increase the hive size and provide space for construction. So that might be quite useful. Just get that in. That'll be a handy thing to have. And then that can be a storage for wax. That can be a storage for pollen. And that can be a storage for nectar. And there we go. So we've got some more stuff going on. So some more storage happening. That's good. I think we need to get over 70, don't we? I think that was the, that was the limit. So we need to create a cell and a cell and a cell. Oh, I've done the wrong place. Do you know what? Never mind. We'll just create some over there like that. It's all fine. Shh. This is my favourite part. Barry spends their spare time watching Bee Wars. The Empire stings back over and over again. 
Do you know, Barry, that is a good use of your time. Well done, Barry. I appreciate what you're doing there. Um, okay, so we've got these things built up here. So there's more storage up there. So we can now store 74 of each of our resource types, apart from obviously the honey and the jelly. We haven't got, kind of got to those yet, but so we can store 74 wax. Now, if we go into here, oh, they're not quite finished their research yet. They've nearly done this research to upgrade the whatever it is that they're doing. What do you research? I can't remember what I told you to do. What did I tell you to do? Oh, it was the empty cell clusters. Oh, there you go. It's already done. So now they can we can sort of build lots of empty cells in one go. But now if we do this, so let's have a look. So was there a wax storage upgrade thing? So there. So now we can do a wax storage upgrade. Allow clusters of wax storage cells to be upgraded. Upgraded wax storage cells further increase wax storage capacity. Okay, well, let's get that to see what happens. It is quite a big thing. It's quite a big job for them to do. And then, yeah, we need to start thinking about getting all these sort of honey things in. Because I imagine the honey makes the jelly, does it? We need the honey to then turn into the jelly, I assume, to then feed the queen. I mean, the queen does have... She's down to what? Uh, what's that? A quarter? She's down to about three quarters of life left-ish. Just, just, just over. So I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay to muddle through and sort of get some more stuff done. I do love the the numbers and stuff coming out and the fact there's like <laughs> right angle triangles and things. I'm litching this. In the evenings, Adam tends a small litching garden. They're very proud of it, but are too shy to show it to anybody. Adam, you should just get that litching garden out and show it the heck to everybody. Ah, okay, this is intriguing. I hadn't realised this. So each barracks that we build covers a certain range. So the one barracks we've got covers this end of the hive. So it covers a throne room, which is kind of important. I imagine that's kind of key. But it does not cover any of the storage stuff up this way. So yeah, look, it doesn't kind of cover these bits over here. And I don't think it covers that one cell just there. So if anything did come in and attack us, if it kind of went for the queen, we might be all right. But if it went up here, we would struggle a little bit. Okie doke, well, there we go. Now we know that's how that works. And um, we've upgraded the workshop just to get that extra workshop in because why the heck not? And now we can do some more research. We've already maxed out the wax, even though we spent loads of it. We've still got our wax all back up. So um, is there anything else we can do? Jelly refineries and all that kind of stuff. Maybe we now need to get the honey refinery in. Maybe we need to start thinking about that. It's going to take 500 effort to get that in. That is, that's quite a big job. That is a big old thing. Right, a cell cluster. How do we build a cell cluster? Oh, it kind of just tacks it onto the side. Oh, that's quite nice. Uh, and then we want to get another one just there, I think. So we'll get that in and then they can work on all that. Because then down here, I imagine the honey refinery is going to be a little bit like this one. So we're going to need a row of tiles that are in a line. I'm selling these fine yellow jackets. A performing wasp construction crew held several shows near the hive recently, inspiring a portion of the hive's population to become builders. They're not too bad at it. <laughs> okay, good times. Ah, now I see a problem that I have created for myself. I mean, unwittingly created for myself. I didn't realise this was how it worked. But the new upgrade we've got to the wax storage, you go, yes, please, I'd like to upgrade the storage. And it upgrades it in a sort of a, an area like this. So it's got the seven tiles that center around the one tile you've selected to upgrade. So at the moment, we can't upgrade this one because these two tiles at the top are, are different storage types. They are storing, they're storing pollen. So we can't upgrade that one, which is unfortunate. So yeah, so if we did want to do that, we would have to presumably obliterate this, would we? The thing is, would we lose all the pollen that's in there? We'd lose two pollen. Yeah, we need to redo our storage, don't we? We need to sort of think about how to do the storage. So maybe we leave them there and we just have a load of extra storage options down here somewhere. We'll just build a massive load of stuff. There we go. So we'll start building some more storage over here and we'll try and make that all more efficient. This can sort of stay or maybe when we start filling this up, we'll get rid of these in due course, whatever. I don't know. But yeah, that's not going to work properly, is it? So we could say if we want the honey thing to be down here, we could have that, so those tiles there could all be wax storage, and then we could see what happens. So let's have a go at that, shall we? So, uh, wax and wax, and yeah, we've got plenty of resources to do this, I think. So, wax there, and wax there, and this one. So we'll make all that wax storage, like so. They'll come around and work on that, and then we'll upgrade this middle one, which then should take in those ones as well. And then we'll just see what that does to our storage for wax. 
Right, they are all now wax storage, so we should be able to then upgrade it. Yes, we can. Marvellous. Oh, okay, we won't do it quite yet. Cold season, it's getting colder. Foragers can't travel as far and won't be able to collect as much pollen or nectar. Okay, I mean, we've got quite good reserves of right now anyway, so we should be okay. So let's do this. So let's upgrade that storage area and just see what it looks like and how much it can actually hold. Uh, oh my goodness, it goes up to 120. Oh no, was that just because we had all those extra spaces anyway? So 124 at the moment. So let's see what that goes up to when they finish working on this. Come on, my little bees. You need to be as busy as bees. They can run in and get on with all this. That's good. And then, yeah, then we need to figure out what we need to do to store the other bits. Because, yeah, but we could... We could create another bigger storage area down here. So a cell cluster there and a cell cluster there. The only thing is, if we get attacked, we've got no defence around these places. That's the only thing I'm thinking. Oh, it just becomes a great big empty space with a little bit of wax. Oh, well, one bit. <laughs> it's a token bit of wax in the bottom. Right, however, however, is it worth then destroying that and destroying that and destroying that? Because we've got wax here still. We've got loads of wax storage in there. And then here, if we do something else, if we build another one here for, say, pollen, and then we can get rid of the pollen out of here and then turn that into nectar storage. That might work quite nicely. Right, so let's just build one of these just to remind what I was doing. So, yeah, that can be pollen. Uh, these can all be pollen, in fact. Oh, we can't. we've not got enough wax to do that. But at least that's in, so I can sort of remember that that's what we're doing. Are we working some wax through the machine? Yes, we are. Well done, bees. Okay, so the pollen storage area is set up over here. Now, we can't actually get on with changing it into a bigger storage area like that because we haven't unlocked the tech for it yet, but we'll get there eventually. How are they actually doing on unlocking the big fancy tech? What are you doing again? Remind me. Oh, the honey refinery. Yeah, of course. Right. I want to get that in because I feel like that's the final bit of our sort of bee puzzle at the moment, because, yeah, we're not generating honey at the moment, and that would be nice if we could do that. And then we're going to have to go and get into all the other stuff about making the royal jelly and what have you. She's still got, what, 5,000 seconds left alive as, as Queen Tamara, so we should be okay. I would like to think that we could get enough jelly to get her, uh, get a replacement sorted. What are we going to do? 600 jelly. Right, okay, yeah, maybe it's not quite as straightforward as it seems. Okay, let's see what they can do with this. So we need to get this in first. So we need to get ourselves making some honey, because this is a beehive that's not making honey, and honey is lovely. So these guys need to get on with that pretty sharpish. The only thing is, can we store honey? I don't think we can. Specialization is for other insects. Heinwing, that's a great name. Heinwing's writing on individuality and self-determination have been doing the rounds again, inspiring a portion of the highest population to become workers. Cross-skilling never hurt anybody. Okay, 16 workers. Oh my goodness me, that's quite a lot of worker bees. Um, let's get, do we want to get another exit? Given that we've got quite a lot of population and only six of them can go out at any one point, is it worth putting an exit. How about just there, look? Just pop an exit just here. And we build around the trees. We don't go over them. We build around the trees. Oh, that's quite good. So our hive is sort of expanding over this way around the trees. That's quite nice. Right, let's get that as an exit. Uh, so where was that? That was resources. Yeah, an exit just there. So then they can go out that way and then come back in and go, yay, right, there we go. And this here, this here can be a barracks because now we need an extra bit of defense up here because this is all undefended so yes yeah, so we'll get that sorted as well so bees can go out there there's a barracks just there which is very very good so they've got some defense capabilities which is wonderful and then how's the tech doing it's looking good we need a little bit more effort on it and then we can start making our own honey Oh, I figured out what this little button down here does. So when it's like this, we can interact with the hive. We can build stuff and do all that. If we click it, it freezes everything. So I thought it was just a pause option. But no, it means that we can now find out more information about our bees. So this is Victor. So Victor is old. He's 70. He is an old bee. And he is a defender. And his activity is rushing. So he's rushing around. And he is going to the barracks. There's the queen. So she's in her prime. <laughs> she's carrying her head high, which is very good. And we've got you there. We've got Anita and Leah and Willie and Jamal and Bar Barry the bee. Barry the bee. That's brilliant. Oh my goodness. We've got a lot of defender bees going on there. Oh, crikey. Yeah, hang on a minute. We need, to, we need to have a look at that. We need to sort out those numbers, I think. Can we bring that down a little bit? We should have some, some more builder bees, I would have thought. 
Why have we got naught out of eight? Because we should be making more builder bees. Uh, the likelihood of each row of the next bee spawned. I would have thought we should have maxed that out. But okay, let's bring let's bring them down. And then let's bring them up a little bit. Because we do need some of those to 20. So we'll freeze that. That's okay. We'll bring that down a bit. Okay, so let's see if we can do that. Right, there we go. Marvellous. We have ourselves another builder bee, which is great. Because this research is nearly done. It's so nearly complete. I just want to get this done. And then we can make some honey. And then I shall be happy. And it's done. We can build the honey refinery. So I think the first thing we need to do is build some sort of honey storage. That would be very helpful. So let's get that researched. Builder effort 30. That'll be done in no time at all. And then I imagine it's going to work in a very similar way to the other one. So resources, honey refinery. Oh, it's a more. Okay, right. So it's not in a line. Okay. Can we build the honey refinery just here? Because why not? Um, yeah, perfect. Let's pop that in just there. So that can be a honey refinery. And then we can have honey storage down here, say. So if we go to cell there and a cell there and a cell there, that could be honey storage eventually when we get there. But okay, right, let's get this in first. Let's get the refinery in. So we can make honey finally. And then this bit here. Oh, look at it. It looks very lovely. So at the moment, do they put the honey into here then? I don't know what they do with the honey right now. Where are they putting the honey? Because there's a thing just here. Um, I think they've already done honey research, uh, storage. Yeah, marvellous. Okay, right. Well, let's build ourselves one honey storage thing because that seems a sensible thing to do. And then we'll pick some more research. So what should we do? Jelly storage we can't do. Jelly refinery we can't do. So let's not do that. Cell upgrades. Nectar storage upgrade. Ah, we can't build that because we haven't got any nectar at all because I guess we just spent it on loads of stuff down here. Um, pollen storage upgrade. We could get that can't get any of these other things just yet i don't think nope so the only thing we can really do is pollen storage can we do any bee upgrades yet tool belts oh they take up so much stuff <laughs> take up so many things um how about then um yeah we can't get that and that uh, we'll have to get the pollen storage then let's just do that so we'll do that and then um and then yeah we've got to wait for them to just bring in more nectar i guess i guess that's what we need to do and then we need to start using the nectar to get some more stuff yeah the nectar looks very sort of uh, depleted there, doesn't it? It looks very sort of depleted. We've got seven, about 10% of our nectar reserves is all we've got. But do you know what? I think what we'll do is we will finish up for now, but if I, let's press that just to stop other stuff happening. So we'll finish up for now, but I'm going to come back to this because this is, this is fun. I like this. I mean, what's not to like? <laughs> what's not to like about a beehive builder? And it's brilliant. And I do like the fact that we're unlocking different things. We're unlocking lots of lovely new sort of tech for the bees to have. Uh, we're going to be able to upgrade this next time. So we can upgrade our pollen storage. That might mean that we can then start uh, sort of adjusting this area to get some nectar storage up here, which would be very, very helpful as well. So we've got honey in production now. We've got lots of wax in production. Wax is not really an issue at the moment. We've got loads of that. So um, yeah, we can just sort of continue and expand and see how we get on and see whether we can actually get Tamara a replacement. Because she's on about, what, two thirds of her life remaining. I say she's got a third of her life gone and she's got two thirds remaining. So I'm, I'm hopeful. I would like to think that we could get it done. But do you know what? We will come back next time and we will see if we can actually get ourselves a new queen bee to sit upon the throne to replace poor Tamara. If we get that far, we might not even get that far. I do not know. But we'll come back and have another little look because this is a lot of fun. Hopefully you have really enjoyed this. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. It would be very splendid. See what I did there? I won't do that again. And also, if you are not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in hive time. But for now, well, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, it's just not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.